What's going on everybody? It's Conti here with another video. How to use the smart insert button in DaVinci Resolve 16. Ensure that you have DaVinci Resolve 16 or later versions of the software installed before you follow the instructions in this tutorial. Ensure that you are in your cut window. Left click once on the icon at the bottom of your screen. To insert video files to use in your video project, go to File, Import File and Import Media. In this project, I'm going to insert two MP4 files. In your media pool underneath Master, you should see the two video files that you have inserted. Left click on the rectangular icon with the three dots in the middle lined up horizontally. This will appear when you hover your mouse cursor over the relevant video in your media pool. Left click once. And this should reveal the frame rate. In this case here, my Mountains MP4 file contains 25 still images per second. The duration of this video clip, which you can see in the top right corner of the grey window, which appears next to the clock symbol, is 9 seconds for this particular video. If I do the same as well for my second video clip featuring Bobby the dog. Each second in this video comprises of 24 frames and the duration is 5 seconds. I'm going to left click hold the mouse button down on my first video mountains and drag the mouse cursor to the middle timeline in my cut window. Let go of your left mouse button once a blue rectangle appears on the timeline to place your video inside your project. With the red indicator positioned on the left hand side, we can see that the mountains clip commences at the zero second mark. The last pair of zeros to the right of the duration reader on the right hand side of your window indicates the frame number that your red indicator is currently positioned at. The second pair of zeros refers to the second which your red indicator is currently at on your timeline. If I left click once on the thumbnail for my dog video underneath master, I wish to insert this before the mountains clip on my timeline. I will go to left click once on the smart insert button. Now the red indicator has shifted along by five seconds with the mountains clip now starting at this particular point on the timeline. This is due to the fact that the dog clip has been inserted before the mountains edit. If I left click on the skip backward button, which appears underneath my video preview, the red indicator moves back to the start of my timeline at zero seconds. And if I drag my red indicator along the timeline slightly, we can see the clip of the dog appearing in our preview window. Illustrating that the first five seconds of this video file comprises of the dog clip and the final nine seconds comprises of the mountains clip which takes the total duration of the project up to 14 seconds. I'm going to press Ctrl and Z on my keyboard to undo the insertion of the dog clip. Use Command instead of Ctrl if you're a Mac user. What if you wanted to insert the dog clip after the mountains clip? If I left click once on the skip forward button underneath the video preview, the red indicator goes to the end of my mountain clip on the timeline at the very end at the nine second mark. With the dog clip selected inside my media pool, I'm going to left click once on the smart insert button. And now we can see that the video project total duration is up to 14 seconds again, with five seconds added on at the end with the clip of Bobby appearing after the initial clip of the mountains. Bear in mind each time we use the smart insert button, the whole clip that was initially in place on the project timeline remains and no content from the initial mountains clip in this case here has been removed. The whole nine seconds of this initial clip remains. I'm going to press Ctrl and Z again to undo. What if the red indicator wasn't at either end of the particular edit that you wish to use the smart insert button on? If I left click on the red indicator and drag my mouse cursor towards the middle of my edit, to the four second 13 frame mark, with the dog clip selected, 
dragging my mouse cursor down to the smart insert button. If I little click once, the dog clip is not inserted onto the project timeline. This is due to the fact that the smart insert button only functions when the indicator tool is in close proximity to the start or the end of a particular edit. So how close must your red indicator be to the start or the end of a video edit where you are going to be using the smart insert tool to place a video clip either before or after the one you currently have selected on your cut interface. I'm going to left click on the red indicator and drag this to the left back towards the beginning of the video clip with the mountains letting go at the 3 second 18 frame mark. As mentioned at the start of the video, the frame rate for my mountains video clip is 25. Once the 25th frame is reached, the second indicator on the duration reader on my timeline increments by 1. So for example, if I am at the 2 second and 20 frame mark, and instead of using my mouse buttons, I hold in K and tap L, to move the red indicator to the right. Each time I tap L, the indicator moves to the right by one frame. I am now on the 24th frame after the two second mark. If I press L one more time, the duration goes up to three seconds, zero frames. If I continue tapping L, note how the smart insert button is selectable. If I left click to select the dog clip once more and left click once on smart insert, the dog clip is inserted before the mountains clip with the duration back up to 14. However, if I were to go back to the previous timeline with just the mountains clip and shift the red indicator forward by one frame only, again by holding K and tapping L once, the smart insert button is no longer available for use. Given that each second comprises of 25 frames in this particular video, and we are currently 19 frames away from the three second mark on this present timeline, we are 94 frames in total away from the zero second mark of this particular video clip. And so your red indicator can be positioned on any of the initial 93 frames of your video edit to enable the smart insert button to be used to insert a new clip from your media pool before the start of the video edit currently on your timeline. And the same applies to the opposite end of the edit. At the end of the edit, you can hold in K and tap J to move your indicator to the left. Bear in mind that we started off at the nine second mark. I am now at the five second, seven frame section. The smart insert button is currently highlighted and therefore available. With the dog clip selected, I'm going to left click on the smart insert button. And we can see that the video clip of Bobby appears after the mountains clip. However, returning to just having the mountains on my timeline at the five second seven frame mark, if I hold in K and press J to go to the sixth frame after the fifth second, the smart insert option is now unavailable. And so to use the smart insert tool to place a new video edit after one that you have currently selected on your timeline, ensure that your red indicator is parallel with any of the final 93 frames of the edit that you wish to have playing before your newly inserted video clip. If I go to my edit window by left clicking once on the icon at the bottom of the screen, I'm going to divide the mountain clip up into thirds by dragging the red indicator to the three second mark as I did in the cut window by using my mouse button or using J, K and L once again. Going to my blade edit mode tool I'm going to left click once on the red line to cut the video a third of the way through. This initial three second edit comprises of 75 frames and is therefore within the 93 frame limit that we need to be able to utilize the smart insert tool. Now dragging my red indicator to the six second mark, I'm going to repeat the process with the blade edit mode, which you can also select using B on your keyboard. 
Going back to the cut window once more by left clicking once on the icon. If I left click on the red indicator and drag this to the left across the three second edit in the middle of my video project timeline. We can see that the smart insert button is always available for selecting. This is because there are less than 94 frames between the middle and both the beginning and end of the video edit here on this timeline. Having the left indicator positioned towards the left side of your selected edit will result in any new inserted clips from your media pool being inserted to the left also before the start of your selected edit. I will go to left click once on the smart insert button and now the clip of Bobby has appeared in the second edit on your timeline with the two final mountain edits along the right towards the end of your timeline. And if I press Ctrl and Z to undo to return to the divided mountain clip and if I drag my red indicator towards the right side of my selected edit I will go to left click once on the smart insert button. The newly inserted clip will appear after the edit you selected on your timeline. With any subsequent clips, such as the final mountain clip here, being shifted along to increase the overall duration of your video project, but remaining in their original state, unedited. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that video was useful to you. If you enjoyed the content and wish to be notified about future uploads on this channel, please like and subscribe. Join me soon for another video. Take care.